Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going over how to do the movement Jinga. Now, Jinga means to sway, and it is the basic movement of Capoeira, it is our, our stance, if you will. So everything comes from the Jinga, and everything goes back to the Jinga. So with that, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to get started by having a nice shoulder wide base. We're going to have our knees bent. It's going to be essentially lazy squats and lazy uh, lunges. But from here, we're going to take your right foot, put it back behind you like you've taken a step. Again, like you're doing a lunge. So I'm on the ball of my back foot here and I can bounce back and forth as necessary. My hips are still forward. So there's no um, change in hip rotation. Your hips are still forward, you can bounce, all right? So with that, give it a little bit of a bounce. Let your arms swing a little bit, just nice and relaxed. And then from here, we're gonna step right back up to that center base. Again, my feet are about shoulder width apart. My knees are nice and bent. I'm here, I'm stable. I'm gonna put left foot back. And again, I'm gonna bounce. My hips are still forward, my feet are pointed forward, and I'm on the ball of my back foot. So I can move like this without having to actually lift up any foot as we go. And then up, and I'm gonna switch. So now we're gonna do a little bit more smooth here. Center, back, center, back. So as you can see, I'm actually moving side to side. So if you're doing Jinga, you should be moving side to side, swaying as it were. All right, good. Keep pace and mirror me. And make sure as you're doing this that your knees stay bent. You don't wanna extend your knees and come up here. That's not stable at all. You want a nice low base from your legs not from your back. My back is still straight here. So I'm not hunched in any way, shape or form. I'm not leaning over. All right, good. So, um, dois, and freeze here. So you should have your right foot back. Now, with Jinga, we also use our arms for protection. So the leg that is back is gonna be the hand that's up in front of your face. You're gonna to want to protect your actual face with your forearm and your tricep and your shoulder. So that way, if a kick comes and you're not quite fast enough yet, it'll hit your arm, which hurts, but it's way better than, it's way better than your face. So the other hand goes out to the side. In our group, we do not clench our fists. We leave open hands partially to be able to catch ourselves easily should we fall, but also because if you have a closed fist, the implication is you're here to fight. And there's a time and a place for that, but right now, open hand. So here, and now with this, my hand is up, so your right arm should be up. As you step up to that center base, your right hand should stay up, and only when you change your legs do you change your hands. So left hand, with the left leg. Up to that center again. Right hand, right leg. Up. And switch. Up. And switch. Up. And switch. Very good. So from here, you're gonna get really tired. But if you train on your own with your arms this high, you'll play here. If you train here, you're gonna play here. All right, it's, it's just the way it kind of works. The, the muscle memory happens and you don't actually, when you're thinking about other things, you don't actually think about keeping your hands up as high as you realistically should. That's why it's good to train with your hands really high so that as you're actually playing, they stay pretty high up there. All right, so keep moving back and forth and back and forth. Good. So again, this is the basic movement within capoeira. And as you kind of go back, you should be leaning back a little bit. You should feel a little bit of bounce in it as you go back 
and forth, back and forth. All right, great. So with that, practice your Jinga again. This is our basic stance, so everything comes out of and goes back into our Jinga. Keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video.